And he'll be able to pick him up then. So... Oh, there's some in the water too. Yeah, the timing for the button can be a little particular. Ronald is making it happen. Level 24 now. I'm a little concerned about the... the things being outside bounds. Like, even in the water, it's not... it's not going into the... Wow, 59 hemp already. I'm thinking we probably have too much... <laughs> <laughs> Too much hemp? Oh, wait, no, but he... Okay, he harvests the whole plant and then replants it fresh. Which is interesting. It's not the most effective way to do the hemp, but... Um... Alright, let's see. What we'll do here is... Mm-hmm... All right, I think that will keep things from falling into the water. So let's go do that over here as well. Eh, that's all right. We'll do, we'll make do that. Okay. And that'll keep things from falling into the water at least. And then I don't know if we want to put a fence around the outside to keep things from going out of bounds or what. We'll just let it go for now and see how it ends up. Wow, only one potato we're planting. That's Hmm. I guess that'll be all right for now. Hopefully they should multiply as as they mature and are ready for harvest. Nice. Ten. Okay, well, we haven't. Hmm. This will be interesting. All right. Well, we'll see how Ronnie works out here. Or, sorry, Ronald works out here. Uh, right now, he's hanging out. Maybe he's eating. I don't know. How are you liking your job so far, Ronald? You're finding some job satisfaction. Good hours. Not too hard here in the desert heat. Oh, hey, careful there. Oh, he's going to town. All right. I'll just leave you alone and let you do your work. Thanks, Ronald. Oh, we have Ronnie out here with a sword, but clearly not a warrior. Yeah, I think... Um, Lumberjack, interesting. Uh, researcher. Yeah, see, there's a there's a separate recipe for a combat NPC. Um, it's called combat NPC. It's kind of like the generic form of uh, of warrior. Yeah. Right, kind of like you have the the generic worker. Yeah, I don't either. So, um, so we have one farmer NPC. So, you know, we could make him a lumberjack. 
Try giving him an axe and see what happens. I don't think he'll go cut down trees. Well, actually, we don't want him to go cut down trees at this point because the only trees he could cut down would be our apple trees. Um, is it a used axe or a new axe? I don't know if that makes any difference. It may, it may not. Ronnie is lost. That was an interesting symbol. He's hanging out underneath the town hall. Um, okay. Well, I think, um, you know, either we can do an animal farm. Yep. Where'd he go? Oh, did you repack him? Yeah, we, uh, we definitely don't want him cutting down our our um, apple trees over there, but let me take a look. Like, I think there's like a tree farm, which is very similar to like a a crop farm. Or, yes, there's a tree farm. So we can actually build a tree farm, and then I guess any trees within the bounds of that tree farm, similar to the crop farm, he would harvest and replant. Um... Wood here in the desert is kind of scarce. Do you want to you want to do something like that or? Sure. All right. I'm yeah, go ahead and repackage them, and then I will um, head down and make a tree farm. The only thing we need for that is an eye is a fresh iron axe. Well, I mean, just to make the. Um, Make the farm, the tree farm, I need an iron axe. So, a uh, block of iron. Oh, wait, I see iron down there now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll make an iron axe while I'm making an axe. I think I have everything I need. And why is. No. Oh. I have to get on the right staircase to get down there. Uh, well, I figure you want to make a trip into the nether as soon as we get uh, Ronnie squared away with the tree farm. Yes, we need to build, well, we actually need to build the tree farm. So we need to create a space, put dirt down, put some saplings. Um, well, why don't you do that while I'm building the tree farm itself? It won't take long for you to throw down some, I mean, you don't have to make the whole area dirt, just throw down some dirt blocks and put some saplings on them. And let's see, I'm going to need, I think it's in our, there we go. Uh, water? No, I, no, we don't need water. Okay, I don't think we have enough wood, oddly enough. So do I have to go upstairs and get more, no, we have more wood here. Great. <coughs> Uh, I have eight dirt. Well, that's, oh, that'll be plenty. That's more than we need. Yes, yeah, so you just put one square of dirt per tree. Okay. Oh, man, because it was in the inventory, it maxed it out. Lots of drag. I'll just be more careful that. Okay, so we need a chest. Uh, we need the wooden gears. Let's see, just to make sure. Okay, and we need the axe. We're gonna make two of them. All right, great. So we've got, we've got, uh, got axe, gears, 
chest and wood blocks. Now what you're not seeing as we do this is that there was a lot of research that actually went into this previously. So we have to research in this book uh, essentially all the different uh, technologies that we're using. Um, and that is what allows us to build things. And there's a technology tree similar to a game like Civilization or something like that where, you know, before you're able to research farming, you have to research agriculture. And before you do that, you have to research... Um, um, I don't even remember, but it kind of builds on each other. It's it's mostly intuitive, um, and the book kind of keeps track of it, um, which is great. Okay, so we have our tree farm, and we have our axe. I'm going to go ahead and make another medium bounds upgrade. So, three fence, two string, which we don't have in here. So let's check the chest. Three fence, nice. Your string, just what we need. All right, medium bounds upgrade, tree farm, and an iron axe for Ronnie. Have you got our? Um, we have several different ver options for for wood. Did you do oak or? Oh, hello. I was just kind of surprised Ronald is standing here at the door. That's, uh, that's not your tower, Ronald. We have a house for you around here. Uh, no, I said his home point over at the, uh... Alright, okay, this is great. So, uh, let's see. Tree farm. Alright, so... We'll need to go to... To the west, and... Five to the oh no sorry actually five to the west and two to the north. Oh, let's put our bounds up right. All right, so actually five I guess to the east. Well, hold on, let me, let me, uh, that was odd. Yeah, sorry, um, X, uh, it went in the, uh, it, it went in the tree farm. All right, you probably want to put some saplings and resources. Um, I think they'll probably naturally go in there at some point, but, all right, so... Okay, um, hmm, it's not letting me add more size to it. Maybe I needed more than a medium bounds upgrade? Okay, I guess, yeah, for now let's just take that row off and... Oh, wait a minute, you know what, it, it did expand it too far too far to the north and south, like it's one row outside. Um, whoa, how did all those... Oh, they're outside. Oh, I was freaked out for a minute. Well, our wall works. These zombies are... I don't know if they're chewing on each other. Do you, do you see these zombies? Like, their heads are like... Oh, I messed them up. Stop that. No, oh, there he goes. Mm -hmm. It's not even sportsmanlike. Now, of course, the spiders can jump right over the wall, and the archers can shoot right over the wall. Um, so, it doesn't make us impervious, but it certainly is helpful.